All right, how's it going, everybody? This is 2019 Bowman Jumbo. Eight box case picker teams number eight. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate everyone getting in. We'll have some more Bowman posted Tuesday, so be sure to check it out. Last spot Mojo went to Mark. Thanks again. And here we go, full case of Bowman. Here is the seal. Totally sealed. And good luck, everybody. Haven't hit a super factor from about 20 cases, I think we've done combined. I know Jason's done a few. Joe's done a bunch. And then I've done a few too. No super factors yet. So, could this be the one? Could it be? Super Factor Auto, maybe. All right, so there is all eight boxes. I'll open it one box at a time since we don't have anything else sold out. Don't need to be in too much of a rush. Um, remember, no paper ships. All the paper cards get donated, but all of the autographs, inserts, chrome cards will ship, of course. And any short prints, like we hit a short print at Bryce Harper the other night, which was a paper card, but I I caught that, top loaded it, so get all that done. Um, a super factor is a parallel that's generally in um, Bowman products, um, and it's a one of one, so it's the only one made it of every player. So it's just like a type of parallel, and it's pretty much like the the holy grail of of modern sports cards. It's like the best one of that player to get, at least for baseball. Tops doesn't do any football anymore, so it's kind of switched in football. Same with basketball, but baseball, their Super Factor Auto from Bowman or, or Tops Chrome, that's usually their, their best card they'll ever have. If you look up Super Factor on, online, Google, you can see what it looks like. Maybe we'll hit one. So yeah, so Super Factor is the rarest. Then you have a red out of five. So those are numbered to five. So like the red border out of five. Um, the oranges are usually to 25. The orange borders, those are really popular too. They have a whole bunch of them now. They've kind of added a little different take to uh, the last few years. Wow, look at that. For the Angels, Joe Adele. Nice hit there. Starting off hot. Angels David Duffy gets that 41 out of 50. Very nice. Joe Adele. One of the best prospects in baseball. Hopefully you'll be up in the majors next year. Cole Calhoun will probably be gone, I would guess. Replace him. Maybe if the Angels make a postseason run, but I doubt it. All right, we got a teal to 125, Medina for the Phillies. Tatis there. There's a Jordan Alvarez. Haven't hit any redemptions in this. They've done a pretty good job. There is an Augustine 
Autograph Nationals, last spot, Mojo Mark. Augustin. Is our first autograph. You knew that was going to happen. First auto, last spot, Mojo. Last spot, Mojo hits 100% of the time. Sometimes. We got a Taylor Widener to 150. Base there. Atomic autograph for the White Sox, number to 100, Michael Kopech. Nice hit. Chicago White Sox, David Duffy. Yeah, this is Jumbo HTA 8, number 8. Kopech, 55 out of 100 is your third auto of the box. Anthony Siegler to 250. We got a gold coming up, gold refractor. It is number to 50. It is Jesus Luzardo. 47 out of 50. Gold refractor. Nice hit for Oakland. That is Scott V. Man, I forgot my monster box. Come on, Nick. All right, so that should be it for this one. Maybe another refractor or something. Mike Trout right there for the Angels. All right. I know they're gonna open up the flawless briefcase. Bam. Autograph. Yeah, hoping at the new store. This store is just we don't have a ton of space. We got this store here. <clears throat> I guess we were doing a lot of breaks, but Probably not as many as we were now. So hopefully we can start doing some events in the store for for in-store customers and online too. We'll always have to find a way to get our online community involved. Hopefully maybe like athletes can come in and do some promotions or whatnot. So this is box two of eight, Bowman Jumbo. If anyone else wants to get something going tonight, let me know. Get your spots going. We have Leaf Pearl Hockey in the store, which 
has been up there for a while, so I'd love to get that done. Um, we also have some Splendor, and we have a 10-spot Marvel Avengers break. That only takes a few people to get involved. Or one person buying all 10 spots. You get the box and the comics if you want to do that. If not, I'll be heading off air tonight. Once this break is over, if nothing else is sold out, I'll be adding some more stuff. We got the NFL Draft Football Mixers. We got some basketball stuff. We got some older basketball too, which like some 13, 14. So we can tr chase some Giannis and some basketball mixers. So it'll be a lot of fun. All right, back-to-back -back blue papers. Colwyn and Guillaume for the Mets and Rangers. And I'll do a hit recap for this as well. I'll do a hit recap of all the autographs and all of the serial numbered cards. Get a refractor to four ninety nine Marte for the Mariners. We got a Victor Victor Mesa. Nice hit for the Marlins. Josh. Marlins were up there for a while. I believe they picked them up last hour or so. It's nice. Victor, Victor. Mesa. One of the better autographs to get in this year's 2019 Bowman. Nice. That's the first one I pulled of him, I think. So we got some base, Mike Trout. Some more base. I think we fit Victor Mesa Jr. I don't know if we fit any Victor Victor Mesa though. Get a refractor autograph, Gabriel Consal to four ninety nine. Kansas City, Michael K. It looks like an M more than a G. All right, so base there. I think maybe. One more auto in this one. Yeah, I mean, they definitely sign less than the regular guys, I think. Keegan Thompson, a 250. Purple refractor auto for Chicago. Alex D. But that also helps. I mean, some it's obviously tough for some, some group breaks. But if you do hit it, it means it'll be... More valuable, you know? It's like those contenders football autographs where it's like a, it's like an offensive lineman auto, but they've only made 10 of them. The base, they short print it, so it's worth like 500 bucks sometimes. All right, we got a gold shimmer. Nice. Gold shimmer, 12 out of 50, Wander Franco. Parker Wilson. Nice hit. Wow, that was a nice box. Franco to 50. Nice hit. We're getting closer to the Super Factor, at least. Number to 50. Now we need to hit an orange. To I don't think I've hit an orange to 25. 
At least an autograph I haven't. Which I feel like is crazy. I don't think I've hit a red auto. Hit the red refractor in the last break. Non auto. All right. Six boxes to go. Good luck. Yeah, so we'll have some more Bowman. Like I said, I'll maybe reconfigure the format a little bit. Surprise everybody on how I post it. But be sure to check out the site in the morning. It should be stocked and reloaded for the brand new week here at Jaspi. Joe should be live tomorrow about 3.30 p.m. Pacific, 6.30 Eastern. So we got some base. We got a Will Smith to four ninety nine. The baseball player, not the actor, of course. It would be cool with a Will Smith baseball card though. Ryan Costello, speckle auto to two ninety nine, for Minnesota. If I can pull it off the base card there. Minnesota Twins, Ryan L. There you go, Ryan. Nice Costello auto to two ninety nine. Like I said, those speckles or sparkles are kind of growing on me. I like them now. Definitely with ink on them, I like them. All right, so base. Got a blue paper, Sean Murphy to four ninety nine, Oakland. Fractal autograph for the Braves, Darian Cruz. Double O three out of four ninety nine. Atlanta Braves, Paul. Nice. Nice one, Paul. But yeah, I've been trying to uh, I'm 
trying to pay more attention to a lot of these prospects, especially in the next or the last couple drafts. It's crazy what uh number two fifty Ryan Velade. If you want like a twenty sixteen Bowman Chrome with uh, I think Peter Alonso's in it. That's crazy high Bowman draft maybe. Obviously the uh, the first Bowman Chrome with Vlad Guerrero Jr. on it. I think cases are like. For a hobby case, is like $7,000, which is $6,000 more when it came out, <laughs> more than um, what it came out at. So it's crazy what uh, what some of these prospects can go for. And I think Vlad Guerrero, he wasn't like, he was, I mean, he was a good one to get at first, but he wasn't selling for as much, obviously, as he is now. Tommy Romero for the Rays, Parker. I don't think they were even like one of the more expensive teams if I can remember either. But pretty crazy. So definitely a lot of time or definitely good time to buy a lot of these guys from this one. I think at least. I mean Franco has he even played this year. So that was that box. On to the next one. And yeah, I mean, we saw Joey Bart. When we were at the Tops Conference, we went to see um, the Giants were playing right across the street. We went to see them. And I believe Joey Bart was on the team. I saw him. I think we saw Heliot Ramos. And they were playing the Cubs. I don't think had any big prospects playing in, in the game we saw at least. Alright, so this is about halfway through once we get done with this box. Bowman Jumbo 8 box caser number 8, pick your team. Thanks everybody for getting in. Like I said, We'll have some more Bowman Jumbo, Bowman Hobby later this week, throughout this week, posted tomorrow. But I kind of want to find a guy to, uh, to, pr to prospect hunting this 2019 Bowman. I haven't picked it yet. Buy, buy some base autos, maybe. Maybe like a mid-tier one. Mid-tier player. I wish I had some Adele. Joe Adele stash. His base auto. If you get it, a 9-5-10 from Beckett. His first Bowman auto. I think it's over close to a thousand bucks already. For a non number auto. Which is nuts. Alright. Ian Anderson, two ninety nine. There's one of those Bryce Harpers. We'll ship that. I think someone said they're going for about twenty bucks, so Nice one. Phillies is TJ B. We got a Chad Spanberger. Autograph for the Blue Jays and Boombox. I think it's the first one I pulled of him. Spanberger. Son of a steel worker. There you go. Gritty. Alright, so base. Ok. 
Got a purple paper, Jesus Sanchez to 250, Tampa. We got a Mike Trout Atomic to 150. 10 out of 150 Mike Trout for the Halos. David Duffy. Jordan Alvarez, nice one there to 125 for Houston. Michael K. We have a Speckle Auto to 299 Logan Webb for San Francisco. Daniel D with the Giants. Nice. A little Webb action. Pretty good baseball name. All right, some inserts there. Those will all ship, of course. Sorry if the camera keeps going out of focus sometimes it doesn't like the card shuffling in the Bowman that's all paper we got Otani we got a blue coming up Blue Refractor Autograph, Roberto Ramos for the Rockies, number 150. It's Colorado again, Alex D. Roberto Ramos. All right, so we're halfway through, four boxes to go. Should be about another 25 minutes or so. And then I'll do the recap video, and then I'll see if anything else sold out for tonight. Got a bunch of stuff to go post, so Joe stays busy this week. Got a big week, actually. No crazy releases other than NT Basketball. Um, we don't have a lot of NT Basketball coming, unfortunately. That was... Every year, NT Basketball is probably the hardest to get out of any product for for us as a card shop. It's the most heavily allocated. So, unfortunately, did not get a ton of those. We do have a few posted, um, and I'll post a few more maybe probably later tonight. Have to try and see which way we want to do them. And then I'll post the Mavericks as well. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah, so um, there's a what they call a base autograph. So it's like one of these. So th these are not numbered. So you don't really know how much, how many cards they made of these. Um, it really depends on the player. But something like this, it's copy 96 out of 150. So there's 150 made. This was the 96th one made and signed. Um, so obviously the lower you get, the more expensive card you get. So if it's out of five or one of one, those are obviously the best ones to get. Um, and yeah, so like all of the blue autographs in this product will be numbered 150. So all the, the different border colors represent the serial number as well. And then they ha even have, they even do like printing plates. So the actual card they, they made to print it. 
They put those in there a lot of times. Um, and then they also have like game used jerseys, of course. So they, they take the player's jerseys he wore in a game and cut it up and put it into cards. Or for baseball, a lot of times they'll do game used bat cards or the bat they use in the game. Um, this Bowman is a little different just because it's not a lot of guys that are household names yet. It's mostly prospects, so minor league baseball players. Um, but you start getting into some of the other products. They have like Hall of Famers, Legends, Rookies. So this Bowman is usually mostly prospects. But the good thing about the Bowman is it's their first card ever made usually. If it says first Bowman on the top. And that will be their most valuable card. So if you're looking to like collect a certain player, you think this guy's going to be a stud, you usually want to get his first Bowman card for baseball. That will be his best card to get to own. Um, there's a Hicklin autograph to four ninety nine. That's three hundred four out of four ninety nine. That's a refractor auto. That is going out to Michael K with the Royals. We have a base autograph, not numbered, base auto, Edward Cabrera for the Marlins, for Josh. And yeah, how we price the teams are obviously the, um, the more desired hits. Those teams will be more expensive in the pick your team breaks. And then um, we go by like the checklist. So if you go to a website called Cardboard Connection, it's a really good resource. If, especially if you're new into collecting and, and case breaking um, just Google cardboard connection there's a Albies to 499 and there's a blue Logan web to 150 and then we do random team so obviously it's a total of random team then we also do random division sometimes so you get a whole MLB division so like AL East AL West all those so yeah we try to do a bunch of different ways of breaking and we try to offer all different price points Shane Baz of $4.99 obviously some products like NT basketball it's going over five thousand dollars for a, a four box case so it's hard to get that um, at a at a really cheap price point for breaking but we always try to try to appeal to everybody with our breaks or we try to offer different different values and prices sometimes it gets tricky though that's why we we do a lot of spot randomizers and stuff like that for the really expensive teams helps alleviate the cost but unfortunately some people don't get the team so they're kind of bummed, but it works out a lot better sometimes. There's Alex uh, Kirilov to 499 Twins. I think Kirilov is going to be a pretty good player too for the Twins. One of the better hitting prospects in minors. Nate Lowe for the Rays. Nate Lowe. Base Auto Tampa Bay Rays Parker. And yeah, if you're new, I'm Nick. I usually break most Mondays. Um, and Joe breaks. Joe's our main breaker. He breaks Tuesday through Saturday for about seven to eight hours a night, depending on how busy it is. Or if it's like a release day, we usually stay a little later. Um... And yeah, I usually do a lot of the behind the scenes stuff. I help out 
with uh, some customer service sometimes and then I do a lot of the posting and pricing for the website so all the breaks all right so that's a paper base I'm running out of room You know what I hate in baseball? It's a shift, man. The shift has been killing the Angels this year. Alright, good luck everybody. Three more boxes to go. Hopefully we can get some hitless teams on the board here. So that's half the box there. And so remember, no paper base card shipped. Those all get donated, all of the paper base. But all of the inserts, all the chrome cards, all that stuff ships. So if you don't get an autograph, you'll most likely get maybe some, some chrome base, some chrome prospects. Which, like I said, if, if you get the right player or that player explodes in a couple years, um, those can go for a lot even non-autograph. Alright. Box number six. Ryan Mountcastle to 250. Got Chris Bryant. 30th anniversary insert there. Those are all paper base. Matt Chapman to 499. We got a blue shimmer to 125, Jonathan Hernandez for the Rangers. Got a purple autograph, Taylor Widener, number 250 for Arizona. What's up, Arthur? I know, putting in work. Uh, Diamondbacks, that's Darren. DMAC with that one. You know me, Arthur, always working. Some base. Ooh, redemption. Let's save that. Let's save it. Remember, any mystery redemptions, those are just randomized unless the player has been announced already, which I don't think so. So if it's one of those mysteries, we'll we'll randomize that. And of course, we go by the checklist, groupbreakchecklist.com, cardboardconnection.com for the team. 
so I might need to look it up if uh, if I don't know the player. Anthony Siegler to four ninety nine for the Yankees. I was saying earlier, I haven't seen any redemptions from uh, from this Bowman yet. At least that we pulled. There's a Casey Golden number two ninety nine. Colorado with a nice break. That's going to Alex. So once this breaks over, if nothing else is sold out, I'll be heading off air and be posting a bunch of stuff. We got an NFL draft football mixer for Thursday coming up. We have some basketball mixers planned for the NBA playoffs. Getting into the second round already. We'll have some more Bowman. We have NT basketball coming out Wednesday. We have contenders draft picks football coming out Wednesday. We'll have both of those. NT comes out Friday, actually, not Wednesday. Contenders draft picks call collegiate football Friday or Wednesday. Get my days mixed up. The 24th is contenders. So remember, that's the new rookie class. So Kyler Murray, all those guys, Haskins. All right, let's see this redemption. It is Chrome, uh, Chrome Prospect Auto. Can't speak tonight. It is Diego Cartaya, which I believe is Dodgers. I have the checklist, so might as well check. Pretty sure it's LA Dodgers. Yep, Cartaya Dodgers. That's going out to Tommy Tan. Nice. All right, two boxes to go. Good luck. And I'll do a recap video as well. Yeah, well, unfortunately, there's a lot of politics involved, Eric. Something that we try to stay out of. But, yeah, it's mostly based on, yeah, product purchase, all of that stuff. Or amount purchased, yeah. Both of those. And then, yeah, I mean, the prices are already... So, you get your allocation and the prices are... They also, I mean, they mark up a lot of cases and all of that. So, I mean... These are already above $5,000. So, I mean, if we wanted any more, we'd have to pay the same price that, I mean, the public pays, you know? So, it kind of sucks. But, it is what it is. Well, yeah, Panini. Maybe. Maybe the distributors. Allegedly, maybe. I'm not saying anything. <laughs> they... They might be watching, but but I mean, it is a product that they don't make a lot of either, you know. So it's tough to get any. But we definitely try our, our hardest to get any cases we can find at a at a good price, for you guys. But yeah, sometimes it's tough. I mean, like flawless football, we got a lot because we do a lot of football, but we don't do a ton of basketball. I mean. We have done a lot more basketball the last six months than we traditionally have because the rookie class has been pretty good this year. But I think as we grow, we'll, we'll be able to, to also grow our, our high-end product offerings. There's a Ryland Bannon to 299 There's a Kyle Tucker rookie refractor auto to 499 for the Astros. 
Let's go on to Michael K. Yeah, and then Panini does the first off the line also now too. So that means they're putting a lot of autographs in there, which means they less they make less. Um, or I assume they make less hobby cases. So that also ties in too. And I mean, we don't get offered that first off the line. We if we wanted it, we'd have to buy it straight off the website like everybody else. There's Royce Lewis to 75, gold diffractor from Minnesota. That's Ryan. So I think they started that program, what, two years ago? So it's been sometimes tougher to get some of that stuff. But, I mean, for most basketball releases and releases in general, we we get treated pretty well. Ooh, another redemption. Save that. Yeah, I mean, I yeah, the first off the line, it it's pretty popular. I think their website gets bombarded with with people, obviously, looking for a quick flip or whatnot. But yeah, I mean, if if we want to get any first off the line, we'd have to go straight off the website. So there's some stuff like that too. Um, there's Baruki to two fifty. And lost in the four ninety nine. But yeah, I did try to get some first off the line recently, and yeah, their website does sometimes crash. Um, I think the best bet is that their app. If you're if you have like an iPhone, the Panini app, I think that's what a lot of people say works best. There is a base autograph, Lion Richardson. Oh, some marks on this one. Cincinnati, that's going to David H., Big Boys 007. But yeah, I think for the most part, I mean, definitely the last six months, I mean, we were sold out of Bowman at this time last year. We didn't have this much Bowman. So I think, like I said, as we grow, we'll, we'll be able to, to get more and offer more for everybody. There's an Atomic, Chris and Pache to 150 for Atlanta. But that's why we try to offer a lot of the, the old stuff. We bring back a lot of old stuff. And whatnot. We do some memorabilia breaks. We have our Jaspies Big Hit Express coming pretty soon. Series 2, hopefully at the beginning of May, so next couple weeks, hopefully we'll be able to drop that. Series 1 was awesome. All right. Redemption, good luck. Maybe another Kartaya. Yep, Dodgers with another one. Another one. Tommy T. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hopefully we'll get more than that. But, I mean, it'll definitely be tough to get. Next year, <laughs> I mean, all bets are off. Who knows what's going to happen? It's like, a, it's like an all-out war. But, I mean, hopefully he signs with Panini. That's all I'm hoping. Hopefully he doesn't, I mean, no hate against Upper Deck, but they don't make a ton of basketball releases. I think it'd be better for the hobby if he signed with Panini. But, I mean, if he signs with LeBron's agent, I think that could be, could be a sign he goes with Upper Deck. 
which, I mean, Ben Simmons did that too, but he still had Prism cards, so Prism was worth a lot still. But for a product like NT, it'll definitely hurt it a little bit. But even without, let's say they don't, they don't get Zion for whatever reason, Panini for autographs. I think it's still a pretty strong rookie class. I like John Morant a lot from Murray State. The guy I like the most is probably, um, obviously, Zion, but Hachimura from Gonzaga. I think he's going to be pretty good. I think it might be a little deeper than, than this past year's. But yeah, basketball next year with Zion, if they get him, that'll be nuts. <laughs> we might be breaking Donruss hoops. We might be breaking some hoops with Zion in it. Like two hour, two and a half hour breaks. And football next year is looking pretty solid. I mean, maybe not as strong as this year's class. But I think Kyler Murray, a lot of people talk about the hype. But, I mean, there's a reason he's going to go number one, right? Hey, you never know. We've got to play a little whistle. All right, our last box. Good luck, everybody. Steel Walker Auto. White Sox, David. Steel Walker. <laughs> I know. That's what I was about to say. I was like, we gotta we might actually have to get a masseuse on the payroll. If I have him breaking that. Ryan Velade to four ninety nine. It'll be like Saturday night, he'll be like, Alright, hoops is breaking with Nick on Monday. I'll break the NT stuff. I did a Topps Update Baseball case one time. It's got to be on YouTube somewhere. Corbin Burns for the Brew Crew. That's Bill. I think the Topps Update was two and a half hours. That might be our longest single case break. I mean, obviously some of the mixers have been longer. But for a single case, I think the lo longest might be that Topps Update we did. Or I did. I think that was before we even had Joe breaking here. It was just me. Alright, we got a teal to one twenty five Mitch Keller for the Pittsburgh Pirates. Last few stacks here. He's out. What are you talking about, dude? Ooh, printing plate coming up. Printing plate autograph. Look at that. It's the first one I've hit. Lion Richardson? Yeah, Lion Richardson. Nice. Black one of one printing plate. Nice hit for Cincinnati. Big Boys 007.
Nice one, Dave. Joe owes you a train whistle on that one. The actual printing plate used on the card. Awesome. Nice hit, Dave. Our first uh, printing plate. Autograph, I believe. There's a blue Drew Waters to 150. There is a Matthew Libatori to 250. And the last stack. We got base, some inserts there. <clears throat> None of those were numbered. Some base. So I'll do a hit recap. Check that out in a separate video. But I appreciate everyone getting in. That was Bowman Jumbo. Bigger teams, number eight.